I'm from D.C. D.C. I'm, I'm from D.C. D.C. I'm from 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 D.C. I think we need a good southern cuisine restaurant. We're, we're, we're in Edenville here. This is going to be Washington's newest southern cuisine restaurant. Let the beat rock. Let the beat rock. Let the beat rock. Southern fried chicken, meatloaf, and definitely pork chops. A redfish cubion, smoked beef tenderloin uh, with a uh, blueberry barbecue sauce. Stuffed hush puppies with uh, rock shrimp, leek fondue. Sweet potato casserole. A uh, dyer scallop. Crustle sprout gratin. Barbecued rack of lamb with a pecan crust. A nice little rabbit salad. Then you build up your spices, your salts, your peppers, your cayennes. Things that are going to make that uh, Mardi Gras in your mouth sort of feel, you know. How do you ensure that when you're not in that kitchen, that whoever is doing the food is going to be representing you? I'm from D.C. 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 When you think of iconic figures of the Harlem Renaissance, you think of Langston Hughes and you think of Zora Neale Hurston. Let the beat rock, let the beat rock, let the beat rock. Yeah. Southern cooking, as simple as it seems, is really very difficult because the one most difficult thing the chefs cannot do sometimes is keep it simple. We're trying to make authentic Southern cuisine to represent the era of Edenville and Zora Neale Hurston. Bus Boys and Poets is based on Langston Hughes, mm -hmm. him being a poet, having lived here in Washington, and Zora and he were actually very close and collaborated together. We started out this process with 200 applicants, 200 applicants with resumes, bring it down to about 50. Those 50 we decided to interview, and we decided to bring back about 23 of them. The 23 were interviewed in a face-to-face -face interview myself, along with Carla Hall, one of the finalists of Top Chef from Bravo. We picked 10 of the top chefs here in Washington to compete against one another in order to find the right one. Uh, you know, Zora went to Howard University and she started the newspaper there. And, you know, Langston worked here. He, he worked as a busboy. They also ended up having a falling out. They ended up separating uh, later in life and Zora died and they never talked to each other after a certain time. You know, this is kind of my chance to say, let's reunite them. Now, trying to narrow down one single chef out of 200 applicants is not an easy task. We have to go beyond the fact that they know how to cook because most chefs know how to cook. That wasn't the issue. The issue is how can they really take the story of Zora Neale Hurston and their eyes are watching God and the Harlem Renaissance and the South and turn it into an experience, an unforgettable experience. It's not just about putting food on a plate. It's about putting a story on a plate and making sure that the guest takes in that story when they're eating that food. Where you from? You know, whether it be New York or the UK. And I'd be like, um, I'm from DC, DC. I'm, I'm from DC, DC. I'm from D.C. 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 I'm from D.C
DC, DC. I'm from DC, DC.